Talk about what you see in Carson Beck compared to those players, um, not necessarily as an NFL quarterback, but what do you see in him regarding what it takes to win a national championship? Yeah, I think something he has talked about, and this goes back to spring too, is that last year he obviously hadn't done it before. And now going into this year, he has, not that his teammates didn't believe in him last year, but they know, hey, this is a guy who's won at Auburn, a guy who has won uh, you know, a road game at Georgia Tech that was tough, a guy who won at Tennessee. So he has some um, you know, battle experience, so to speak. And I think he is taking more of that leadership role uh, this year that he's got to take because they lost Cedric Van Pran at center was a team leader. Uh, he is gone. Um, you've, you've lost Kendall Milton, the running back, who was a team leader. He's gone. So Carson Beck has got to step up and be a leader, and I think he's doing that um, more and more throughout this year. And on the field, I mean, he can make all the throws. I think he has surprised people with how mobile he is, not that he's necessarily uh, a dual threat or maybe even what Stetson Bennett was, but he, it seems like every game he has that one moment where he ends up scrambling for a first down on like third and six. Um, and if you can do that in today's college football, that's that's about – uh, it, that's about a requirement, I guess, for a national championship quarterback. So he's got all the on-field stuff. Um, it's just the not mental necessarily, just taking over as the leader, as the guy that everybody looks to. And from everything we've heard, um, he's been doing a good job of that, even going back to the spring. And I think another thing going into this year, last year he's searching for that confidence from day one. And he said the Auburn game was kind of that turning point where it was a close game. They scored with I don't know, three, four minutes left to win. This year, he's going to have that confidence going from day one, I think. And that's going to be huge as it's – there won't be any feeling out process. They're going to be able to um, really hit the ground running from day one, which they're going to need to because they play Clemson uh, there in Atlanta week one. So first I want to ask you about Walker, Javon Walker. Where is Walker best suited to play and where is he slotted to play this season? Uh, those are two great questions. Um, considering he had five sacks, whatever, in the relatively limited number of pass rush snaps he had, I mean, it, it seems like edge rusher, but he's also more of an outside line or inside linebacker, excuse me, his body. So, um, you know, we spoke with Georgia defensive coordinator Glenn Schumann yesterday, and he was saying we're going to continue developing him as a hybrid player, getting the most out of what he does. Um, I think if you're Georgia, what you need – Again, need is a relative term, but you need, with with inside linebacker, you've got Smile Mund and you've got Raylan Wilson, C.J. Allen, Troy Bowles, uh, just for starters as well as some talented freshmen. So I think if you made Kirby Smart pick what he would want, he would want a little more punch rushing the passer. Um, and Jalen Walker is certainly a guy who could do that. He can line up at inside linebacker on early downs, rush the passer on third down. So you know, versatility is great. He's kind of like a – I don't know. It, it's a weird situation because he flashes so much, but then, you know, it, it just – he hasn't really – he's such a talented player, but he hasn't really found the true home yet. Um, so I don't know where he's going to play. I would expect him to play kind of all over the place like he has been. Um, I just think he needs to be on the field more <laughs> often than not because he's a guy who when, – whenever he's out there, he makes plays. Um, and I just think – with what is also already at inside linebacker, his talents could be uh, perhaps utilized a little more rushing the passer. But again, you got to be able to stop the run, kind of rushing out the edge too. And he's he's not as big as some of the defensive end types. So uh, that's my Jalen Walker monologue, I guess. But uh, he's a really good player, and I think he he's a difference maker on the defense. It's just a matter of figuring out where to put him. Honestly, on like a down to down, team to team basis, I think.